Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the paddling pool. It is I, not with Jeannie. <laughs> and here we got a can't think of a name and uh, meow times three. Yes, um, yes, that is what we're going with because I can't be bothered to say it three times. <laughs> yeah, I can't but be yes. bothered to say it three times either, or just in general. Mm -hmm. And it didn't even fit on the thing. It, like, oh goodness, you guys, guys, and your names. Like, I still appreciate the names, but. You gotta make sure it fits or else we can't put it on the screen. But anyway, we are getting into the first first game of the set, which is Clam Blitz Inkblot. Ooh. I haven't seen this map in a while, but uh, I'm not very excited. I wouldn't be very excited to play that if I was Meow Meow, because look at that, that's triple splash. Mm -hmm. That's my nightmare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is a bit of a nightmare, but they do have the range advantage, especially with that E-leader, but We'll have to see if that will mean they're able to, like, utilize that. Because um, an E-leader can be kind of difficult whenever people push right in. But already, that was too down for Can't Think of One. But they've still got such a strong presence in mid. Um, yeah, this map is kind of mostly centered around mid control and, what I like to say, trend warfare. Because mm. this progression is going to be very, very stuck in, like, one area for the most part. But it looks but like a, a, a quick ride. Can't think of one who's not having it. Meow Meow is going to start getting their uh, getting clams in, which is really good for this map. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And especially if you're able to still get those kills, stop them from pushing in easily, then you can keep that, keep that kind of aggression with the clams going. Keep getting more in. That was very good. They've already pushed to practically 40 there. Um, it does seem like they're all out of there now, and that'll be the end of that push, but first push, push to 40, very, very well done. Um, yes, this, yes, especially in the first minute. And mm -hmm. this map you can generally defend for like the entire, I'd say you could defend for the rest of the match, because like I said, it's a lot of trench warfare since most of the stuff happens at mid, and half the time, not a lot of stuff happens until you make it happen. <laughs> but uh, looks like I uh, can't think of ones really trying to make something happen, but they're just getting punished by Meow Meow. They're not, they just don't want to let them in. Yep, no, no, like, as far as Meow Meow Meow, that's, yeah, Meow times three is concerned. As long as they can, as long as the other team stays in mid, then they don't have to worry too much about it, right? Like, they can yes. have mids, they just don't get to come into the basket. They don't get to push the objective, they don't get to do any of that. Um, the most yeah, like the most important part to defend on this map is also the is also the plat. Like once you lose control of the plat, you have to expend quite a bit of resources just to get it back. And by then, the other team may have gotten a decent push. In. Yes, yes, please. But it does not look like kind of think of one is gonna get the time or the clams there to make a push. Meow meow meow. That's mm. meow times three. That feels so weird to say meow meow meow. But yeah, meow times three really just aren't yeah they're over them having mid they're done with that you guys no no we're gonna we're gonna push it back out again um none of that and yet again they don't have the clams to make a push they don't have the paint to make a push they really need to get mid back again but it's not looking like that's gonna happen that was a delayed wipe there not to mention i saw that e-leader shot okay there's the official wipe but that e-leader shot was just a dead head shot on that crab tank clicking heads is what we we're supposed to do I love it yes. when my e-leader friends can do that, but this is this is pretty this is pretty annoying because there's a lot of HP specials in that basket. Mm -hmm. Three down as well. More clams coming. That's another wipe. Meow meow. Just they're they're, they're just <laughs> they're they're just a bit uh fumbly with that knockout, but they got it. They absolutely did. Yet again, even whenever can't think of one had the had the clams they needed to push, they just weren't able to. You know, time three was not giving them the space for it. Um, even when they had mid, they weren't able to do very much with it because you know, time three just had the control they needed. And yes, they, they didn't they let needed. go of their plat. And mm -hmm. I would also like to say that I did notice someone like Swablith, or um, no, that's the wrong team. Let's see. <laughs> Who's getting pits? I'd also notice someone like Surskit would would just stop the push. They just prevent the push from happening. Mm -hmm. Before it could even, before it could even get anywhere, really. 
Um, but it was still quite a slow game in the sense that it wasn't like one push down. Like they got that first push to 40, but then like it did take them quite a while to then get through and get the, the decisive push at the end there. Um, so it wasn't like like a quick knockout. So when it comes to splat zones, Mako, mm, Mako can really favor high aggression, which is what you can do with, um, I can't think of one's team comp, right? There's still a whole bunch of splashes. Um, they've still got that aggressive potential. So this might be a bit different um, if they're able to keep Meow times three off the zone, uh, then that might actually look that little bit different. That's one less splash there. Interesting. Very interesting. Yep. Saving the game by playing one less splash at a time. <laughs> Slowly but surely. <laughs> yeah, Nintendo, please nerf this weapon. Yeah, they, that, I think they're probably feeling like they're done with that now, which is um, very Nintendo. But yeah, already, Meow Times 3, they've got the zone, they're working on it. <laughs> that cheeky oh. kill with a bomb from the junior, very nicely done. That's two down for Kite. I can't think of one, this is really not the start that they needed here. Yeah, this, is, this definitely isn't a great start because not only do they have just general control of the map, this also allows their blaster to help lock out the enemy team. And right now with triple ink strikes pain, it in the zone. I don't think that was quite the necessary to play of the game. You gotta follow up with those trips or you have your teammates follow up. But right now, can't think of one that's just getting stumbled back. Ouch. Already three down. Make that a wipe. Yep, I Ow, indeed. I my it just shows that you need that kind of uh, team play together, even with really good weapons. It's not, unless you have that team play, it can just so easily go oh, wrong. Oh my goodness! Okay. Well, that's that's the set. Can't think of one. Just never really find their fitting there. Oh my goodness. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes it happens though. Mm -hmm. Or they, but they're also facing an off-meta comp, and sometimes when you're facing unfamiliar kind of compositions, you don't necessarily know what to do against it. Mm-hmm. So that might uh the off meta comp might have been a bit too much for them. But I like seeing off meta thrive. Because mm -hmm. they did a good job capitalizing and countering the meta comps. Yes, yes indeed. And it does absolutely show that meta is not everything. You can put a lot of weapons to good use, and a lot of weapons have very, very good strengths, but it Sometimes it's just not, um, like you have to play a certain kind of way to have consistency with them. And you have to have, like, sure you find team comps that can work really well together and they're off meta and whatnot, but you have to like find that, you know what I mean? You have mm -hmm. to get there um, and that can take, you know, some, some good team practice and some good you know, figuring out what you want to do. But um, yeah, what a what a set! The first the first match was a little bit more like there was a bit more back and forth, but still, neither time I can't think of one like they didn't really get the objective. I don't. Did they even get the objective once? They were able to neutralize it once, but unfortunately, they weren't able to even touch objective. Yeah, so it just they just could not um, push past what Meow Time Three was doing and. That is unfortunate for them, but that means that Meow Times 3 are gonna go on to the next next round and sadly, can't think of one, is out now. And it is single elimination. I see. Well, mm -hmm. we're gonna have to take a short break, so we will see you around for the next match. Yes, indeed. So stick around, because this is gonna get crazier, but absolutely don't go anywhere.
Splatoon Stronghold. A stronghold for competitive Splatoon, providing resources to long timers and newcomers alike. If you're new to the competitive scene or still figuring out how to join, we've been getting started guide and plenty of other resources to help you in your journey. If you are a seasoned veteran, we still have plenty to offer. You can find and join tournaments as well as participate in our captain forum and find free agents and teams. Our mission is to make competitive Splatoon easily accessible to everyone. So what are you waiting for? Join the Splatoon stronghold today.